When I had the ultrasound and the radiologist came in and spoke to me, she told me basically that we're seeing a lot of calcifications in all four quadrants of your breast. And I was like, nobody in my family has ever had breast cancer. My name is Lachey Roll. I'm 27 years old. I'm a PhD student in prevention science and community health here at the Miller School of Medicine. And I'm originally from Nassau, Bahamas. So initially I found a lump and I wasn't very concerned mainly because of my background in epidemiology. And so when I got a little bit of pain, I originally attributed that to powerlifting because I powerlift and when you bench press over 200 and something pounds, close to 300 pounds, you're gonna feel some soreness. But when I had my women's health exam, I went to the student center and got that done. I brought it up, then we just started the whole process. So the moment that they put the ultrasound wand on my breast in that area, I saw their exp expression change. They look very shocked. I got my biopsy two days later. So then on a Monday, I then got the results. They called me and let me know that I had cancer. It was just amazing to watch how multiple people work together. So first you go to your surgeon, then I went to my oncologist, then now my radiation oncologist. So everyone just worked together in tandem. And I think all of Sylvester's services have been beneficial and they are beneficial. But for me, the number one has been the AYA support group. I think of everything that happened is an injury. So when you have an injury, you build back up. You don't just like stop everything cold turkey. You go to physical therapy, you build those muscles back up to return to where you were before or even get better. It makes me feel good to know that I'm a part of research, that I'm doing everything I want to do because my goal when I came here was to conduct research in the Bahamas and help Caribbean born black populations. Going through this journey, I now wanna go and be a major advocate. I really wanna go out and share what this experience has been like and how you can be strong after cancer. And that's kind of why I decided to share my story on Instagram. This has changed me a lot.